Hey, it's Will and Sean, we're at the Exadelphia Practice Lanes. And today we're going to be going over our personal favorite top five MATF regulation axes. So the first axe we're going to be going over is the ShowPro Professional Scout Hatchet. This axe is the axe that most people will start with going to any NATF location. It's a great starter axe, but as it comes, it's very much made for splitting. The profile is gonna come, it's gonna be very thick, and you're gonna have to do a lot of grinding to get it down to this thin edge that you really need in order to be able to stick on even older boards. One of the things about this axe is that the blade length can vary. Since it is an axe that's made in China, this head here, made in China, it sometimes can have a different length. It can go anywhere from 3.4 to 3.7. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I personally like to have two to three of the same exact axe, just in case something happens to mine. Even the slightest difference in blade length can actually make a difference when it comes to competition. This axe is great for someone who has a little bit more of a lob throw. If you find that your axe is hitting either on the toe or the heel of the blade, the top part here or the bottom, then this is going to be a perfect axe for you. So with this curved edge and it's naturally pretty thick blade, uh, you're going to have some trouble hitting if you're hitting flat every time with your axe. So number two on our list is gonna be the Snow and Neely Scout Belt Axe. This thing is the only axe on our list that has a 1.25 axe head weight. So if you're looking for a lighter axe, this might be a good option for you. But like most lighter axes, the blade here is only about three inches long. So you're gonna be making that sacrifice. It's gonna be easier to throw, it's gonna have less weight to it, but you're sacrificing that little bit of blade length, which can make a huge difference if you're going for clutch. One of the great things about this blade is that the profile comes razor thin, and they are always identical. Every single one that you get from Snow and Neely is going to be the same. The length, the profile, everything. That is a great thing. That's something that does not happen a lot for under $50. One negative is going to be this handle. It has got a fat knob on the end here, and most people are not going to like this. This can be easily uh, fixed. All you've got to do is shave a little bit of it off with a belt sander, maybe take an angle grinder, cut some of that off. Whatever you got to do to get some of this meat off this handle, it's going to make it a much better throwing experience for you. So next on our list is the Plum Victory Rafting Hatchet. It's a one and three quarter head weight with a four inch blade. Uh, they're very thin profile, so they're great for sticking. The only disadvantage is there is no true point. They're both rounded on the heel and toe. Uh, it's more for a lob throw because of the weight, so the head weight just naturally spins it in. But if you throw it straight on, it has a tendency to bounce because of the rounded edge. I usually could find these on eBay, Etsy, yard sales. Uh, Plum is an old Philadelphia company. They're still around today, but uh, the classic ones from the 70s are our favorites. And so you have to look on eBay or like yard sales, like I said. Uh, the thing going you have to watch out for is then you're going off the photos. 
So you have to look at patina, how much the edge is profiled. Uh, you know, people have sharpened them over the years, so there could be some blade missing because of sharpening. Uh, so it takes a little bit of practice just looking at them and making sure that you're buying a good blade. So following that on our list is the Cold Steel Axe Gang Hatchet. Uh, it comes with a 20 inch handle, so most people cut them down. Uh, I run mine at about 14 and a quarter. Uh, it comes with, uh, the head weight is 1.4 uh, with a blade length of four inches. Uh, these are a throwing hatchet, they were designed that way. So it's a very thin blade and it's also a straight flat blade. Uh, they're great for sticking toe, heel, or straight on. Uh, because of the thin blade, it has a tendency to stick very well on new boards. I don't really have a bad thing to say about them because of the 4 inch blades, so they're great for clutch. Yeah, you can find these on Amazon, uh, other retailers online. They go for about $20 to $25. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that one. <laughs> So number one and the final axe on our list is going to be the Plum Victory Half Hatchet. This guy is actually, they were originally designed for carpenters to be their ultimate tool that they could have on their belt. It's got a nail puller, it has a hammer head here on the back, and it's got a nice four inch blade when you get them brand new. These things are sweet. The way that the axe head is weighted, it puts all the weight in this hammer head here in the back, which just drives your axe straight in. They come with really thin profiles and you can grind them down to be even thinner. So they tear right through fresh boards. This axe is a little bit more worn. It's had a couple inches of blade taken off of it. It's at about 3.7. But if you get these things fresher, you can get them with a four inch blade, which is max NATF regulation standards and that thing will tear up clutches. This is an amazing axe. These are a very common axe to find on not only eBay, but Etsy and pretty much any site or store that sells old axes. Um, it's one of the most common styles with this hammerhead here, but the Plum Victory is my absolute favorite and it works wonders. As far as handles go, HouseHandles.com is a great resource for really nice American-made hickory handles. Another option that I like to go with is Trooper. Uh, they have some pretty decent handles and they're always exactly the same. You can also get those on Amazon with uh, Prime, so you get that two-day shipping if you're in desperate need of a handle for competition. This axe works really well for someone with a straight on throw or a lob throw. It's going to stick well if it hits on the heel, the toe, or straight on. That really thin profile allows it to go into new boards easily. You're pretty much not gonna have a problem and won't even have to move your shot for new boards. Um, I really, I can't say enough good things about this axe right here.